We need to go to the White House now. Democratic leaders emerging from a meeting with President Trump. We just had a, a very a productive meeting with the President of the United States. We came to this meeting with an understanding uh, that there is great need in our country for rebuilding our infrastructure, with a recognition that we stand at a, a pivotal place in terms of building infrastructure for the future. It's about jobs, jobs, jobs. It's about promoting commerce. It's about clean air, clean water. Uh, it, it, it's a, so therefore a public health issue. It's a quality of life issue, getting people uh, out of their cars, not being on the road so much. Uh, and in every way, it's a safety issue. Uh, so we're very excited about the conversation that we had with the president to advance an agenda of that kind. Uh, we did come to one agreement that the agreement would be big and bold. Uh, our distinguished uh, leader from the Senate will announce how big and how bold. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and what remains to be seen is a, a, another, uh, we agreed that we would meet again uh, to talk about how it would be paid for. Uh, but we're very pleased with the uh, positive attitude toward recognizing uh, the trillions of dollars of, uh, of need according to the American Society of Civil Engineers, the deficit that we have in our infrastructure. And now we have an opportunity to work together in a bipartisan way Building the infrastructure of America has never been a partisan issue, and we hope to go forward in a very nonpartisan way uh, for the future. And with that, I'm just pleased to yield to the distinguished uh, Well, thank you. Senate. And it was a very constructive meeting. It's clear that both the White House and all of us want to get something done on infrastructure in a big and bold way. And there was goodwill in this meeting, and that was different than some of the other meetings that we've had, which is a very good thing. Um, first, we agreed that infrastructure is crucial to the future of America. We agreed it creates jobs. We agreed it keeps us competitive. We agreed that for 25 years, this kind of a, a, a big, bold bill that we could pass would make America a better place. This is not just a one year or two year. We agreed on a number, which was very, very good, $2 trillion for infrastructure. Originally. We had started a little lower. Even the president was eager to push it up to $2 trillion. And that is a very good thing. And then we talked about a number of things we would do. Obviously, the roads and the bridges and the highways. Obviously, water. But also a big emphasis on broadband, that every American home, we believe, needs broadband. An emphasis on the power grid so we could bring clean energy from one end of the country to the other and several other issues. Um, we told the president that we needed his ideas on funding, that the last bill he proposed, which A, was smaller, but B, took as much money away, and the speaker emphasized this, took as much money away as it put in, wasn't going to work. So where does he propose that we um, can fund this? Because t certainly in the Senate, if we don't have him on board, it'll be very hard to get the Senate to go along. And we said we would meet in three weeks, and he would present to us some of his ideas on funding. So this was a very, very good start, and we'll see. We hope it will go to a constructive conclusion. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, how hard is it to work with this president on infrastructure when he's stonewalling you on investigations? Uh, well, we can uh, obviously we are here to do something for the American people. Uh, we have said all along in our For the People agenda that we ran on, uh, that we were there to lower the cost of health care for the American people by lowering the cost of prescription drugs, and we hope to work with the President on that. We said we're there to lower health care costs, bigger paychecks, by building the infrastructure of America in a green and futuristic way. And we talked about cleaner government. For the first two, we think we can work with the President on, while we may have our difficulties in other areas so but we cannot we cannot we cannot ignore the needs of the American people as we go forward so that is that issue come up in this conversation no I did so considering if I you can ask the same question of the Senate leadership as well and to both of you right after the uh, the midterms the president said suggested that he wouldn't be able to work with you if you were simultaneously investigating him 
uh, if you get the sense that that has passed. And, and can I ask you, what is a bigger priority for Democrats, investigating the president or trying to work with him? Our priority is to honor our responsibilities under the Constitution of the United States, to meet the needs of the American people, and to honor our oath of office. I'm going to yield so, to this. Well, yeah, let me just say one point. more. Let him, please. Um, in previous meetings, the president has said, if these investigations continue, I can't work with you. He didn't bring it up. And so we're going, I believe, we can do both at once. We can come up with some good ideas on infrastructure, and we want to hear his ideas on funding. That's going to be the crucial point, in my opinion. And the House and the Senate can proceed in its oversight responsibilities. The two are not mutually exclusive, and we were glad he didn't make it that way. So the President President Trump 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 we'll take one more. What has happened? You're all turned into shouters. Last question. I'll take a one from a woman. Did you choose a leader among you to guide the infrastructure project and spending going forward? Well, we have our uh, some of our members we have our leadership there and we and I have a rule when I go to a meeting with a multi with many members and that rule is the purpose of the meeting is not to criticize the president of the United States and secondly that every person has a chance to say what he or she came to say so this is a, a collaborative effort and we hope it will be very bipartisan and uh, but we will <clears throat> be meeting next about how it's paid for, and that will engage, of course, the Secretary of the Treasury, among others, and our leadership in terms of uh, the Ways and right. Means and the Finance so, Committee. Well, we agreed. Wait, wait, wait. But what some we... of it will also spring from the Committee of Jurisdiction, for example, uh, the um, uh, inf uh, Transportation Infrastructure Committee, which has its own funding mechanism. This is a technical what question we... you're asking, but everybody who is appropriate well, to the solution will be This is involved. the last thing we're going to say. The The... We agreed that the same group would meet in about three weeks and the president would present his ideas on funding and we would take it from there and if we had to break up in smaller groups after that, so we would. I Thank you. Let me just add one point. I want, I want you to take this home with you because one really important uh, advance that we made in this meeting was the president's real uh, acceptance or maybe just agreement and I won't say acceptance because he may have been thinking of this all along, and that is that infrastructure uh, that infrastructure should include uh, uh, broadband. And it's important to health care, it's important to education, it's important to commerce, and his embrace of that, in addition to transportation and water issues, was very important. Thank you very much. Did you talk about immigration? You've been watching a remarkable, truly remarkable moment outside of the Trump White House, unprecedented in the Trump presidency. Democratic leaders emerging from a meeting with the President of the United States, talking optimistically, saying they had agreement with the President to try, insert skepticism here, but to try to move advance, even though there are investigations underway, even though there are big fights on other issues like immigration, like the possibility of impeachment, like Trump oversight of his finances. These Democratic leaders emerging saying they had an agreement with the President to try to move forward on a massive infrastructure program. Two trillion dollars, the amount of money put out by the leaders there. They said they would meet again in three weeks. One key issue, how to pay for it. Democrats have their own proposals, most of them ruled out by Republicans, so that will be a giant issue down the road. But the tone there was simply remarkable. Both Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader in the Senate, saying the President did not bring up impeachment or the investigations, nor did they, and they believe that they can at least try, try to move forward on a bipartisan area of interest. We'll see if they can get to agreement while the oversight and investigations go forward.